It has like those bobcat tiger-like stripes. But they are so beautiful. The colors on them, like look at them. They're sleeping on the rock, sunbathing. Oh my god, guys, do you see this cat? Wow, this is kind of unbelievable. There are so many cats in this area. It's a huge, high concentration of cats. Good morning, people. Today I have a video coming to you from the area of BGC here in Metro Manila. If you're not familiar with the word BGC, it means Bonifacio Global City. Well, today I have an interesting story for you. Today it's all about the cat culture here in BGC. Now, if you don't know anything about the cat population here, I want to give you a little quick backstory. About 10 years ago, maybe more or a little bit less, uh, the community here, volunteers and people started coming together to help the cats that are around here, the strays. You know, in Metro Manila, there's always been an abundance of stray cats because there is improper care for them, such as, you know, spaying, neutering, taking care of them. So a community here in BGC said, we want to make the cats here healthy and comfortable. And here in BGC, you have lots of green spaces. So basically what they did over the maybe past 10 years is they started working together to help these cats. And so when you walk around BGC, you see very healthy cats that are taken care of. They're well fed, they're happy, they're just hanging out and relaxing in the environment here. Well today, oh my god guys, I just found the first kittens here. Hello little buddy, how's it going? I want to go around BGC here. It's not a very big area if you don't know. You can walk around it, you know, in a few hours or so. And I want to show you the different areas where there are different cats. And we're going to kind of get a count, get a little tally of all the different cats that are around here. Now one thing I don't want to do is I don't want to paint a picture of Metro Manila saying that the cat population here is well taken care of everywhere and that everything is in good terms because that's not the case. It's mostly here in specific areas like BGC, maybe Makati. And I can kind of show you how that is here. There's a sign here talking about it. So as you can see, the sign says that the population is controlled in this area and that there is a TNR program. The TNR program means trap, neuter, and return. But one of the things that they want people to know, tourists and locals, is that you can come to these places, you can admire the cats, but don't try to always get their attention. Don't try to pet them. Just let them have their personal space. But we're going to start this video off at the first location, which is here where I've been. This is called Track 30th. It is along 30th Street and 9th Avenue. Here it is a little walking area, green space, and people can get some exercise in, but there's many cats that live here. So, so far I've already seen three cats. Uh, as you can see, the three cats here are well taken care of. They're actually eating. So somebody just came here, probably some volunteer, dropped off food, and now they're living uh, a good morning. They're happy, they're well fed, and they're probably just gonna lounge out as the heat kicks up here. But let's walk around and see if we see any other ones. Hello, buddy. Very cute, very white. And as you guys can see, it also says all pets must be on a leash and please clean up after your pet. Now one of the reasons why they want pets to be on the leash is because one, they don't want them running around and you know, uh, attacking some of these cats and also messing with other people. And then the cats feel more safe that way as well. But it's not all about the cats, of course. It's just respect to keep your animal on the leash because you never know how they'll behave. All right, yeah, so as you can see, the park is very green. There's many trees and one thing you have to be uh, on the lookout for is sometimes the cats will be in the trees so you have to look up because they do like to climb trees that's what they're meant to do but then also sometimes they like their privacy so they will hide behind the bushes and under them so if you really want to see where they are you got to look real hard sometimes all right have a look guys we got another one here this looks like a mama cat she looks very big she might be pregnant maybe she hasn't been controlled yet hello but she's got some beautiful colors on her. Yeah. We got a female cat and she's very, very big. Oh wow, there's another one. Wow, look at these guys. Look at their colors. These are some beautiful cats. Kind of remind me of like a uh, peanut butter or Snickers. So you see what I mean, guys. Sometimes you don't go to the cats. They just come to you. They're very friendly. They're very approachable. They like people being around them. And this one is very, very, very friendly. Just hanging out. 
they're very needy and that's how cats usually are you know especially domesticated ones but these two are hanging out they're the same color maybe they're siblings it's hard to tell but they are so beautiful the colors on them like look at them wow and as you can tell this one's got a little bit of a bent tail um, maybe that was from when it was young it had uh, improper health and now it looks a lot better I can tell you that but Look at that, very cute. Okay guys, I gotta go. You take care, have a good day. Okay, so we're still at track 30th here. Uh, we're gonna go to the other part, see if we see any more. We're at a count of five cats so far. As you guys can see, there's a cat over here. This is the first cat I saw today. It's just hanging out with these workers as they're doing lawn maintenance. So that's pretty much the end of uh, track 30th park here. And there are three cats in here. There were two right on the outside. So next location I want to go to is High Street. That's the main area where you usually see the most cats in BGC. So let's head over there and see what we can find. Okay guys, welcome to location number two. This is High Street. I'm at the part of Pop-Up Street. This is on the maybe upper section of the incline. This is more towards Market Market. But I just sat down here at the picnic tables and let me tell you, there's like six cats right here that I can see. And they're all snoozing. I think they had a late night partying, so they're sleeping in. But I want to show you them all. Right now is a very peaceful time on High Street, early mornings before 11 o'clock. It's the best time to see them. We got one, two, three, four in the bush. And there's one over there. Now I will say guys, this cat here, this one has very, very beautiful colors as well. Look at that guys, we got another one. Now another thing I want to point out is sometimes you'll see them sleeping on the tables of these restaurants, on the chairs, so you can even find them there, especially in the evening time. As I just said, sometimes they're sitting on the chairs and there's one right here at TGI Fridays. Here's TGI Friday and one sitting on a chair. Let's take a look. Guys, look how cute this cat is. It's like an orange one, like a little Garfield, just taking a nap. Now, I don't know about you guys, but orange cats, they're super beautiful. I just love the way orange cats look. But as you can tell, that one was sleeping too. And now we're up to what? Cat number 12. So it's only been 20 minutes or something. Let's keep looking. Definitely want to find one in the tree. That would be kind of cool. I just want to point out down there, you can see there's another one. That's number 13. And that makes for the second one sleeping in a restaurant chair here. They're all snoozing, very, very tired. So as you guys might be able to tell, I entered High Street about midway. So I'm gonna keep going up here towards Market Market and then go back down because this is a very big area with lots of cats. But as you can see, there's a lot of bushes. So there's probably a lot of cats that I'm gonna miss because I'm not gonna look in every bush or anything. That'll take too long. I don't have all day for that, but there are definitely lots of them cat number 15 sleeping on the doorstep of the shop now this one's super beautiful too it has like those bobcat tiger like stripes very very beautiful looks like we have cat number 16 i believe there's another cat sleeping on the chair of this restaurant and shop And just across the footpath is another one. But how nice that there's actually some uh, dirt here so the cat can have like a little bit of a natural environment. And I've only taken probably 10 or 15 steps from that orange cat that was going to the bathroom over there. And we have cat number 18. So man, a lot of cats in a, a tight, small area here. There's definitely many, many cats. So cat number 18 so far. I think we're gonna push probably 30. Now here are two more cats just lounging. That's what, cat number 19 and 20. There's actually a lady sitting at the same table, so I didn't want to stay there too long, but two more are sleeping. Cat number 21. Sorry buddy, did I wake you up? You can go back to sleep. 
We got another orange and white one like Garfield. Very, very beautiful. As you can see, he's a big cat too. Looks really well fed. And I'm sure he's uh, comatose from all the food this morning like the other ones. Cat number 22 taking a nice snooze. Anyone like to have a cup of coffee in the morning out here on High Street? Well, you can have it with a nice cat in your presence. Look at this little white snow leopard. Very beautiful. Very majestic. Now, now we're going to head down to the bottom part where you have the amphitheater, more restaurants, and to me, it's the more ambient area of uh, high street here so let's see what else we can see I'm just entering the amphitheater here and I'm actually not seeing many cats this is the place I normally see the most to be honest but I'm not seeing many I see one over in the distance here so I'm gonna go over that way as you can see we have some food here they put it in a place where it's safe you know people aren't gonna kick it over when they're walking or knock into it so it's good to have them in the bushes you had another one right there so as I've been saying all these cats are well taken care of As you can see, we got another cat here. A black and white one with a very short tail. This one's a very dirty cat. I think it's the dirtiest I've seen of them all. It's got a clip in the ear. Its paws are really brown, like really stained. And I don't know, maybe this one had a very rough life before it was uh, taken care of or helped here in the BGC area. Maybe he's just a rough cat and likes to get around and roll around in the dirt, you know? Okay, enjoy your nap. Also, to give you guys some perspective, it's 10.50 now, so it's been about 50 minutes and we've seen more than 20 cats, so that is a lot. You will definitely see so many when you are walking up and down these areas here in BGC. Look at this, we got a cat right here sitting with this guy. Pretty big. I think they fed the... Yeah. They, they fed them properly. Yeah. Very beautiful. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are leaving Central High Street and we're going to go to the last part of High Street down here. This is the last part before you get towards the Mind Museum and then Burgo Circle. And I'll tell you what, in this central high street area, I did not see many cats. Not at all. Not like I did in the upper part. So I'm guessing down here there aren't going to be that many either. As you can see, I'm crossing a main road here during the day. This road is open for traffic, so cats aren't really crossing here. But on the weekend, they can as this road is closed down. We got one sleeping deep in the bushes here. Now I won't lie, I think this is the first cat that I saw deep in the bushes. It probably loves that spot as nobody can mess with it, nobody can bother it. And just next to it guys, we got another one. This guy is just chilling. So calm. Paws crossed like a gentleman or a lady. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but when cats sit with their paws crossed, or even dogs, it's the cutest thing. It's like so polite how they're sitting. It's so proper. All right, cat lovers, here we are. We're at Lower South Street. We're at the end. There's a beautiful cat underneath this table where I got the camera propped up, just lounging, stretching out, relaxing, sleeping. We've seen a lot of cats coming down this street. Behind me is the Mind Museum. But I do want to mention this area, like I said, is controlled. There's many signs saying, don't feed the cats, don't play with the cats, don't pet the cats, give them their space. Before we make our way across the road, we got another one over here, so let's go say hi to it. Oh, stretch it out, buddy. How you doing? What's your name? Are you a boy? Are you a girl? How are you doing? You see the road is over there. Do not go near the road. Just chill out here, have a good day. As you can see, here's another cat. I'm not petting it, I just came over here to take some videos. And it wanted to get closer. Hello. Want to say hi to the camera? These are your fans. They're going to come see you. Say hello. Now guys, one other quick thing I want to point out is if you look at the ear, it's got a notch in it. It's got a little snip like I said earlier. I think that is one way to tell that they are recorded for and taken care of. Oh my god, guys. I just found the first kittens here. Hello, little buddy. How's it going? Here we have three cats. We have a mama cat, I believe, and two kittens. The kittens are actually fairly large. I think they might be one to two months old, based on my cat experience. But they are so cute. 
They appear to be like a Siamese kind of. They have a long face, but they're pure black. And in my opinion, black cats are some of the best cats. I just love them. They're spooky. They're very, very cute. It's just really hard to get a good video of them because they're in the bushes, but they're climbing the trees and stuff. Very, very cute cats. Oh man, they are so cute. I don't want to disturb them anymore. The mom is very alert. She's watching me, making sure I'm not doing anything. But it was really cute. They were just playing with each other. They were actually climbing the tree a bit. What's that? 33 cats between High Street, uh, Track 30th, and the Mine Museum. Incredible. Okay guys, here we are. We're entering Virgo Circle here. We got the Mine Museum behind the camera. Yellow Cab Pizza Co. here. A restaurant and then the circles over here and I'm already seeing a bunch of cats oh my god guys do you see this cat that cat looks incredibly funny how I sleep in in the planter like that it's such a big cat this is the biggest cat I've seen yet here in BGC that one is definitely really well fed and uh, he's having a nice snooze he was having some dreams there with his mouth wide open probably drooling but look at him he's so big he can barely even fit in that planter massive Okay guys, we have another cat here right at Forbes Town. Now this is probably the last spot I'm looking around this area as I'm not seeing any more. But there's one right there, just chilling. Looks like he's watching something. Maybe he's watching some birds or some insects. Oh. Looks like we got another one. There's two of them. Are there many cats in this, this area? Uh, this uh Two here. Two here? Yeah. And then... Uh, Just around? Uh, yeah. Okay. Not as many as High Street. Many. Not yeah, so many. Okay. Cool. Thank you. But as you guys can see, they have a nice uh, cat station here with some food, some water. Pause for a refresh in Forbes Town. I don't really know why those cats are meowing so much because they have lots of food. Maybe they just want attention. I don't know. Maybe they don't feel good or something. But I asked the security guard if there's many and I think he was trying to tell me that there's not so many in this area but there's definitely a lot more uh, around High Street where we just were. But man, where does that bring the count up? I think we've passed 30. What time is it? Oh, look at that. 11.30 on the dot. So it's been an hour and a half and we have seen how many exactly? You guys know the exact number as you can see it on the screen. But man, I did not think I was going to see that many cats in an hour and a half. I would have guessed probably 20. About half of that. Okay guys, the last place we're gonna check out before we head back to High Street because we're gonna check out uh, High Street South Street. It's the other part there that we didn't go to. We're gonna go to here. This is a part, this is a circle like a rotary. De Jesus Oval Park. And then next to it is BGC Linear Park that kind of goes behind some of the Forbes Town area and whatnot. So let's see what we see over here. I'm already spotting a few from the distance. This is the Linear Greenway Park here but right outside we have a couple cats. Now these guys look a little rough, or at least this one does. Taking a sleep on the curb here. Some nice patterns there, but a bit dirty. And then we got another one here sleeping on the bench. I think this one had a late night out partying because it doesn't like the sunlight, so it's trying to cover its eyes. We got another one over in the distance, cleaning itself. Now as you guys might not know, or you do know, and you will see, this area is a bit of a stretch so you can walk a distance. But look at this, we got another one. Just sleeping on the rock, sunbathing, like a very, very cute cat. Alright guys, that is the BGC Linear uh, Parkway here, or Linear Greenway, and uh, yeah, we saw four in there, so there's definitely a few in there, not as many as I would have thought as this is a very green area, but maybe this is very um, far away from the other areas where most of the other cats are, so maybe that's why there's not as many. Another one! And hey, look at that, another one! Where's it going? It's going in the parking garage! What is it doing? Look at him, he's running wild! Another one! 
As you can tell, I have made it over to another area here. This is the South Street of High Street. And I believe there's also a park next to here called Terra 28th Park, I believe. But as you saw, I saw a few cats coming over here. There are some in this area. So let's see how many more we see as this is probably going to be the last location. Another one. We got another one sleeping on a chair at a restaurant. Hello, buddy. All right, guys, look at this one here. This is a very, very cute cat. Look at the eyes and the color, the pattern. Very adorable. Well, as you can see, we have another one sleeping on the stairs over here. Here's another one, just roaming through the park. A little bit of a bent tail, black cat. And if you look over here, guys, right past these bicycles, there's actually a few different cats just taking a nap. We have another black cat right there. We have an orange one right here. And we have two black ones. Oh, look, they're like little kittens, just like the other ones we saw. And then we have a white one right there. Hello, buddy. Snoozy. Wow, this is kind of unbelievable. This area that I'm at right here, there's uh, some Christmas decorations. You have lots of restaurants. You have the Jordan store with the basketball court on the roof. There are so many cats in this area. It's a huge, high concentration of cats. And some of them are very small. Like, have a look here. This is uh, a younger one. It's like a juvenile kitten. Plenty of uh, food and water and whatnot. And as you can tell, it's all empty, so they all have eaten recently. That's a big boy right there. There's actually a few more under here that I'm gonna to try to take some videos of. But wow, there's so many right here, at least 10. Oh, look how cute that is. He's just sitting in that little like hole of dirt. Here you go, guys. There's another one here. This is the same one as this one. This is the one we already saw, but it looks like it has a sibling. Wow, they're very young. These guys are probably I'm guessing four, five months old, something like that. Very beautiful, they look like little tigers. Okay guys, so as you see, this is High Street South. If you keep walking straight down, you'll get right to the main Hind Street. But maybe as you guys can see in the distance, there's a black cat sitting next to the trash cans there. We got another one right here sleeping. Very nice patterns. We have another one right next to it sleeping, orange and white. And then also we have a nice black one as well sleeping right under the bushes. As you can tell, they love the bushes because it's a form of shade and protection. As you can see there, seven more cats just hanging out in this area on uh, South Street here. Actually, one guy was feeding them, which you're not supposed to do, as people have told me on YouTube and in the YouTube comments when I have seen cats around. But even the signs, like I said, they say do not feed them. Again, there's a sign there that says do not feed the cats. It says it multiple times, but the guy is feeding them. Um, obviously, you didn't see his face in the video, but don't do that if you come here. So there's one more green space I want to check here on the south side of High Street. After here, we're going to hit the uptown area as it is the direction I need to go. And it will be the last place. So this park we're going to check out here is called Terra 28th, I believe. Yeah, there's a sign right here, Terra 28th, and uh, there's probably going to be more cats in here, so let's see how many there are in here. But this is a very identical park to the one that we started called Track 30th, I think, if I'm not mistaken. All right, again, as we can see, we have another cat, and I want to point out a sign that says, do not feed cats. Okay, guys, that was a quick walk through that park. There was only one I saw. They may be hiding. As I have said earlier in this video, I'm not searching too hard. I'm just looking for the ones that are mostly in the open or that catch my eye very quickly. But that's it for this area. It is now 12, 10. So I'll tell you what, we saw a lot of cats for just what, two hours worth of time. Something like 70, right? Yeah, so many. Hello again. Hello guys, saw you earlier. Wait, did I see you? I don't remember, maybe not. Wait, I don't think I saw that one either. All right, cat lovers, here we are. Just made it to the uptown area. I actually hopped in the mall real quick to take a quick break. But I didn't see many cats coming over here and right now I'm not seeing as many, but I don't usually see that many in this area, not like up there in High Street area as we just explored. So I wanna take the time to wrap up this video here. As you guys can see, the time is now just after 12.30. So initially began this journey at 10 o'clock this morning. So it's been about two and a half hours, give or take, right? And during this time, we have explored all of High Street, Virgo Circle, the Forbes Park area, South High Street, all of that area, and then coming down here to Uptown. 
And during that whole two and a half hours, we have seen something like 70 plus cats. Actually, the final count is, yeah, that much. I can't believe it. Can you believe it? I did not expect to see so many cats. But now thinking about it, all the cats that I saw today, that's probably just 50% or 60% of the actual population here in the BGC area. Now I could be wrong, it could be more, it could be less. I don't really know as I don't know that sort of information, but maybe one of you guys know. So if you do, let me know. Now I also want to emphasize that there are way more areas to find cats around BGC. Now I only explored the, most of the green areas. Sometimes you will see these cats hanging around buildings, parking lots, you know, more shops and more restaurants and things like that. But the areas that I showed you today are probably the most typical to find the cats of BGC. Now the main thing I want to reiterate here is that these cats are well taken care of in BGC. Majority, 99% of them definitely are, right? Maybe there are a few that come into the area and they haven't been accounted for yet, but in general, the community, the organization here, they try to keep a good count of these cats. They're always recording them, they're always tracking them, making sure that they're healthy and stuff. So if you do come to the BGC area or you're already here, just remember, try not to disturb them, try not to pet them. Go ahead, get close to them kind of, you know, sit near them. Let them come to you, that's how it should be. And as you will see, when you walk around BGC, mostly in the evening time, a lot of these cats are sometimes roaming around and getting close to people, rubbing up on them because Let's face it, uh, if a community is helping these cats, they are domesticated in a way. Sure, they're a little bit more free as they're roaming out outside, but they will want some sort of human interaction sometimes. But like the signs say, we need to give them their space. Now lastly, there's one thing I really want to touch on with this video, and that is my personal experience here in Metro Manila. In the past, uh, I have been here two times. This is my third time now here, staying for one month in Metro Manila. And I've seen a lot of cats in really horrible condition. You know, the BGC area, what they have going on here is a super positive thing and it's very nice to see because these cats are well cared for, like I've been saying. But when you venture out of some of these CBD districts, you know, you have here BGC, you have Makati, you have Eastwood City, maybe Ortigas. But when you get to these areas, you see that the cats are well taken care of. There's many of them, sometimes they're not in the best condition but most of them are in a healthy state or a healthier state. Now there are a lot of cats, a lot of kittens in Metro BGC that are living in very poor conditions and a lot of them don't survive. Let's just face that fact. And with that, I want to say during my time here in BGC, I have found kittens. Uh, the first time I found two of them and I went back the next day to see if they were still there, they were gone. Uh, maybe they were taken care of, I don't know. I'm hoping, I'm guessing that's what, how it was as they were in BGC. Now the second point is that last night I found seven kittens under a cement barrier. You'll see some of the footage here. Alright guys, so check this out. I was just walking down the street here up in the uptown area and then I saw all these little kittens. Look how many there are. There's one there, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's like seven or eight kittens under this barrier here. So the most I can really do is just give them some water, so that's what I did. But technically this area, you're not supposed to feed the stray cats because people do. But that's the organization, as long as these cats are recorded for, which I don't know if they are. But water doesn't hurt at all. It doesn't seem like they know how to drink water because they might still be feeding off of the mother if she comes around. As you can see, these cats were just alone. They were near a very busy road. This is a highway, a bridge going over a river and it seemed like the mother maybe left them or somebody dumped them so they were meowing and they were worried and honestly they just were in a very unsafe area and unfortunately I went to check today they were gone now this is on the border of like BGC and North Makati so I don't know if anyone's gonna take care of them hopefully somebody took them today rescued them did something good with them and hopefully you know, some cars didn't happen to run them over or some dogs, stray dogs or other cats, you know, fight with them and kill them. Because that does happen here in Metro Manila. So if you really venture out of these nice areas and you get into some of the areas that are in poorer conditions, you will see sometimes there are a lot of cats that are just dying on the street. I have definitely seen a few and it's really heartbreaking to see. So 
honestly, if you come to Metro Manila and you go outside of these areas, I do recommend trying to help if you have the time. You know, a little bit of food, a little bit of water goes a long way with some of these animals here in Metro Manila. Because let's face it, when they're very young, when they're kittens or puppies, they haven't had a chance to live life, so we should help them if we can. In BGC, people are taking care of it, so don't worry. And the other uh, CBD districts most likely as well. I'm gonna quickly add so somebody doesn't come into the comment section and just try to rip me apart. Of course, it's not only Metro Manila, it's not only the Philippines, it's a lot of cities around Southeast Asia, a lot of cities, Latin America, you know, Africa probably, United States, you name it, everywhere around the world. But this is just one of the worst conditions I've experienced in all of my travels to more than 20 countries. All right, everybody. I know this was a longer video than I normally make, but I felt like it was needed to be made, you know? When it comes to animals in the world, we need to protect them. This is also their planet, their space as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you could take something from it. And please give it a like. It definitely helps, it boosts it sends it out to more people. Leave a comment below what you thought about the video, maybe any concerns or anything you have that you want to share about this sort of situation here in BGC, in Metro Manila, the Philippines, and the world. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. I will see you soon from the next video somewhere in this beautiful world. Peace out guys. Wow, the seafood, I can smell it. It's probably gonna wake up the cats. And so that way, they are very healthy and safe to be around all the people out here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, these three cats here, uh, one was a male and two were females. I'm going to try to see uh, what the... Wow, have a look at that, guys. They even turned on the sprinklers. The cats can get a free bath. How nice is that? Mm -hmm.